We're gonna go to Byzantium. Wonderful. Look at that. Captain, transmission request from Andros Manor. Eh, <laughs> I like that one. I'll talk to her though. I'm guessing Minnie wants to an update to patch her through. Captain! Imagine my surprise when I saw the unreliable leaving Gorgon with so much urgency and purpose. Tell me you found Mother's journal. I'm positively dying for good news. I found a lot of shady corporate intrigue. Well, isn't that exciting? A lonely asteroid, an old research facility, and now shady corporate intrigue. And here I've just been doing the crossword. Any promising leads on Mother's Journal? I've watched enough detective serials to know that a promising lead can get you anywhere. Are you familiar with Gorgon's old research staff? I seem to recall that Mother worked closely with Gorgon's R&D personnel, but not close enough to invite them over for dinner and cocktails, if you get my meaning. By now, they'll have moved on with their lives. If only I could do the same. Did you know that Gorgon was developing Adrenotime? I knew Mother was involved with some important chemical trials. But I had no idea her pet project was Adrenatime. Adrenatime is a working man's stimulant, like a caffeinoid. Very popular at launch, though the marketing quieted down over time. Were you aware that Adrenatime created marauders? What? No. I mean, there's some very morbid wording in the fine print, but I had no idea Adrenatime could make marauders out of people. That's it. That must be it. Spacer's choice is keeping their dirty little secret about Adrena time off the record. We have to find Mother's journal. If we don't, then Spacer's choice gets away with murder. I only hope we aren't too late. Why would Spacer's choice risk everything for a stimulant? Adrena time was touted as the working man's best friend. A drug that boosted productivity with no adverse effects. The promise of Adrena time cannot be overstated. Exhaustion and fatigue were supposed to be obsolete. Workplace accidents would be things of the past. For whatever reason, the drug never lived up to that promise. Could one drug really do all of that? I don't know. And thanks to Spacer's choice, we may never find out. I know that I'd like to see a colony where the promise of Adrena time was fulfilled. And I doubt I'm the only one. I'm heading back out. You really know your business, Minnie. Thank you. I certainly ought to know what I'm doing. I spent years trying to break into pharmaceuticals, professionally speaking. Mother wouldn't hear of it. She didn't think I had the wit to succeed in her line of work. Safe travels. If your leads give you any trouble, be sure and give them some trouble back, yes? I'll keep that in mind. Be seeing you, Minnie. Ta! Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Nothing new to say, Ida. I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was a bit new. Right, here we go. 
I'm not taking Bavarti and Sal, I'm going to take Naoka and Ellie. Right, here we are. Oh, bloody hell. Fighting us, stupid people. Right, up we go. This is going to be fun. Oh, actually, let's sort them out while we're here. Now, okay. I need to give them better weapons as well, don't I? Uh, Ellie, you've only got that. Let's give you something a lot better. 9-6, you like your handguns. How about... Heavy machine gun. Two... Like machine gun, you can have that one. Nyalka has got 1,900. What's that? The 1,091. Have a heavy machine gun. Suits you better. Oh yeah, armor. Let's give him better armor. You've got 68, 68. I don't think there's any better than 68, is there? 68 62 Nyoka 61 She needs better 31 How many we can give her a better one that You can have that one and 60 What's that one? Hmm no. Sixty-seven. Yeah, we'll give her that one. No, oh, let's go, 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 go. I think we're going to end up having a war, aren't we? Okay, they're not bothered about us. Why can't something exciting happen around you? Anti Creo Titan. All of the benefits of smoking a real Titan. I'll go this way. What's it called? Mus Musgrave Family Collection. Ah, we gotta go up the bridge. Okay, over what here. Was it like being one of them top runners? Hey, my parents and their gold shitting friends are. Anyone attacks me, will fire me. back. That's yeah. the weak goat. It wouldn't shock me if those fluffed up whole heads actually did pass. There's one there. He's gonna shoot at us, isn't it? They've got pills for that. Shoots him first. <laughs> Stupid. Thank you. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's better. I like that. That's, that helps with my speech, doesn't it? Intimidate and lie, yeah. Okay, let's... Hey, I know your face. You're wanted by the board. Wow. You're a living, breathing outlaw. That is, until security outside gets their eyes on you, but... Let's not spoil the moment. If you're here for the annual Canid review, I'm afraid it's already over. Only thing going on behind those doors is good, old-fashioned, lawful behavior. This greeting constitutes your confidentiality agreement. You hereby agree not to disclose the location or existence of these events. Thank you for cooperating.
Canid review. I don't know anything about a Canid review. Exactly. You do catch on fast. Now then, how can I help you? What's with all the secrecy? This place isn't exactly hard to find. We find that our clients enjoy the appearance of participating in illegal activities. Secrecy contributes to a feeling of indecency. This kind of thing's pretty common. Bijous used to do a prison theme night, served fish sticks with tartarus sauce. Oh yeah, prison themed night was the best. Plus, they gave away limited edition designer handcuffs. The Musgrave family collection was intended to be a gallery of fine art. And here we are, using this place to practice semi-legal canid shows. Scandalous, isn't it? You said this place was supposed to be an art gallery. What happened? That's privileged information. I really shouldn't tell you. Ah, okay. Do we go with persuade, persuade 40 or charm? I work for the adjutant. No, I don't know, do I? She already said that. Okay, so we'll go with... Charm. I thought you were into breaking rules. That's a fair point. Alright. I'll tell you. But just keep this between us. Guaranteed secrecy is expensive, you know. Oh, it's all right. I'll give you this little secret for free. The Musgraves own one of Earth's largest private collections of art and literature. They were going to have the entire collection shipped all the way to Halcyon. Unfortunately, that collection never arrived. We haven't heard anything from the delivery convoy, and there's some purely hypothetical concern that the collection might be... Well... Hmm... Lost? I was going to say indefinitely delayed by unforeseen and unknowable circumstances, but yes. Let's go with that. Anyway, that's as much as I can tell you. Will there be anything else? I'm looking for Clarence Mosley. Mr. Mosley is indeed attending our event, although I am disappointed to discover he did not officially enter his canid Laplace into our competition. You should find Mr. Mosley just inside the prep room. Head inside and take the door to your left. Okay, let's get past her. Oh, this is absolutely awesome. Let's talk to everybody. Between the two of us, Who's this? I hope this doesn't become a tradition. Ah, review Not spectators. Looking the next annual canid review? Not looking forward to the canids. Odious things. You have a rather exotic presence. Wealthy citizen. Today's trends are tomorrow's trends. I wonder if there's anybody else we could talk to other than that one. The Emerald Veil. How long did you say my scrape was gone? Production. I didn't. Frankly, I don't know. Spectators. Of years. More? He said he was what the hell is going on down there? We're going to get down there in a sec. Which I can only assume. Move out the way. Oh, just hear me out. It's a brilliant idea. Review spectators. Who's this? Not now, please. I'm a little too busy, you know. Being the master of Oh, can I do it? I'm gonna go down there in a second. Who's this? Wealthy citizen? Anybody in here? Bartender? Do you know the interesting thing about canid shows? Here we go. Trick question. There isn't anything interesting about canid shows. Oh, but there is. 
if one possesses an eye for statistics. Mathematically speaking, the interesting thing about canid shows is this. They're an exercise in futility. Winning is predetermined. Over time, the inevitable trend is that the race goes to the swift. Time and chance are just statistical outliers. In other words, if you put enough canids through enough trials, the one with the most optimal attributes generally wins. Exercise in futility. <laughs> you must be popular at parties. Oh, goodness, no. Not at all. <laughs> I'm an actuary, you see. Well, not entirely. The actuarial sciences are more of a passion than a profession. So I suppose that makes me mostly an actuary. That's a bit of a family joke. I'm Clarence Mostly. Uh, okay. We're good with intelligence. That name sounds familiar. Mostly Fine Furniture Company, right? Yes, that's us. Mostly oak trees, too. My grandfather invented them, you know. Well, no, he didn't invent mostly oaks, but he did purchase the naming rights back during the terraforming days. It's essentially the same thing. I'll be looking for you. You're the last known staff member on Project Gorgon. Oh. <clears throat> then you're not here about my monograph. It's true. I was involved with Project Gorgon, but that chapter of my life is long since closed. Listen, I don't know what you want with Gorgon or with me, but let me give you some free advice, hmm? Let the past go. Live in the moment. Enjoy the party. Oh, you know I'm doing this. You want to keep living in the moment? Show me how to lift the emergency lockdown. I was wondering if you were the sort of person to accept sensible advice or respond with threats of violence. Thank you for resolving that ambiguity for me. Lifting the lockdown won't be easy. You'll need to send overrides from the chem lab and human inquiry. I don't have that level of clearance, but I know two people who do. The trouble is, I don't know you. I don't trust you. I washed my hands of Gorgon, and you're asking me to dirty them all over again. I'm going to need a good reason. <laughs> it's just intimidating. How's this for a reason? I'm really heavily armed. Right, of course. Thank you for reminding me. Point well taken. I want a favor from you. Do something for me, and I'll do something for you. That way, we don't have to rely on mutual trust. A grand prize trophy to the Canid Review. I want it in my hands. Get me that trophy, and I'll give you the remaining researchers. Names, locations, as much information as I have. I'm pretty sure the Canid Review is already over. Yes. But the winner is still in deliberation. Committee won't deliver a result for another six to eight weeks. <laughs> Bureaucracy. The trophy's being held in a vault at the other end of this hall. Find a way inside, disable any security, lift, carry, deliver. Simple as that. Hmm. What's so important about a trophy? My canid, Laplace is statistically superior to every other canid in this review. Better average sprinting time, superior gait coefficient, optimal anatomical symmetry. I didn't bother entering little Laplace in this pointless contest. He's already won on paper, you see. That trophy rightfully belongs to him. That must be the most Byzantium thing I've ever heard. Oh, you're much too kind. Does this mean you'll do it? I'll be back with that trophy. Head into the main hall and take the elevator down into the maintenance tunnels. You'll find a service passage that leads up into the trophy room. 
The maintenance tunnel is the only way up into the trophy room. Some technician barred the door shut on our end. Ask Tilda Coatsworth about it, over by the podium. Before I go, there was something else. What's on your mind? So, I found this eye. My eye! I was wondering where I'd misplaced that old thing. It's perfectly preserved, you know. Every eye possesses unique dimensions, not unlike a fingerprint. The circumference, the shape, the color of the iris. An eye makes excellent proof of identification, assuming you don't mind removing one. Here, take your eye back. I don't want this thing in my pocket. Well, that's rather responsible of you. I'll put a good word in your permanent record. So, how'd you lose your eye? I'd rather not get into the details. If Spacer's Choice ever asks you to test out their new model of monocle, just say no. I wanted to ask you something else. What's on your mind? What can you tell me about Project Gorgon? At the moment, nothing. I have a one-track mind. I can't stop thinking about that trophy. Why isn't it in my hands? When is it going to be in my hands? And so on and so forth. You get me that best-in-show trophy, and it'll clear my mind right up. I'll be back. That's her in it. This is a private party. No solicitors. No vagabonds. No freelancers. If you're here to offer your services as an entertainer, we're not interested. <laughs> you're all degenerates and I hope the building collapses on you. I take that back. I almost want to hire you as an entertainer now. You could have dealt with hecklers during the shows. Unfortunately, you're too late. The review ended a few days ago. We've submitted our results to the Judiciary Committee and await arbitration. In eight to ten short weeks, we'll have the name of a winner. Probably. That gives us eight to ten weeks to file a maintenance request. Our technician barred the vault door and then disappeared without a trace. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. Whatever happened to competent help? Now you're speaking my language. The Musgrave Vault contracted a security consultant from UDL. They sent a technician to install a few security upgrades. Anti-dissident auto-mechanicals and the like. That technician barred the vault, but neglected to leave us with a way in from here. He wasn't seen leaving the security room, so I can't imagine where he's gone off to. Isn't there another way into the trophy room? What about the maintenance tunnels? The tunnels are guarded by auto-mechanical security. I don't look nearly boorish enough to resemble a UDL guard, so they'd probably shoot me on sight. In any case, I'd rather not step foot in the tunnels. The tunnels are for disposing of unwanted refuse, and no place for a respectable Byzantine. I can find a way into the vault for you. You won't have to dirty your hands. Your eagerness to serve your betters is commendable. Here's a key card. It should help you get around inside the tunnels. Now, was there anything else? I'd like to get back to mastering over the ceremonies, or people might question why I have this role at all. Nothing at all. Stuck up sod. Right, before I even do that, I'm gonna go down there. Hunting, I object to. Let's go down here and see what this is about. Wealthy citizen. Wealthy citizens. Ah, uh, this is where all the stuck up people go. We are rich as well. We'll join you all. Oh, how are you? Melbourne. Hello. I don't suppose you have any formal training in canid husbandry. I really am at my wit's end. It's my little Anubis, you see. 
He's listless and miserable. I simply don't know what to do about his condition. You named your canid Anubis? Oh, naturally. All our canids are named after the legends of the old pharaohs. Family tradition, you see. You must understand, Anubis is a very picky eater. He dines exclusively on Terra 2 Saltuna, none of that rubbish from Monarch. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of a shortage lately. He's so miserable without his Saltuna. So your family's interested in Egyptian mythology? Oh, absolutely. Egyptology is a family tradition. Did you know that the old pharaohs were buried in a monument along with all their belongings? The tradition was maintained for millennia, from Khufu all the way to Rockefeller. Hmm. That sounds wrong. Really? I can't imagine why. All our sources come from board-certified academics. Okay, inspiration, Kanye's affection, persuade. We'll inspire. We'll, we'll inspire. Kanye's need affection too. Perhaps you should be nicer to little Anubis. Yes, perhaps you're right. I suppose I have been pushing Anubis a little too hard. I have an automechanical servant to praise me when I feel out of sorts. My canid deserves the same treatment. Good luck with that. Canid handler. Canid handler. Okay, these are just normal canid handlers, aren't they? There's the trophy. We will steal that. Is there anything else around here before we go through that door? Who's this? Another wealthy citizen. Are we gonna go and see if we can find our way into the trophy room? This is a different mission. I'm really enjoying this. This is a really good DLC. Okay, we've got to go through the door that's locked. There's the door that's just open. What's this go? Here. What's that? So rifle free, I'll take that. Oh, corporate technician, he died. So he didn't really get anywhere. One applied kinder pine scented flower wax. Floor wax, okay, so he's been doing the walk floors. A priced area in accordance with Byzantium aesthetic standards. CHHC Board Aesthetic and Interior Regulation Section 33F. 3. Relocated garbage. 4. Installed anti dissident ultra mechanicals in order to ensure moral and civil hygiene. 4A. Note. Tampering with altering or otherwise disabling moral hygiene in ultra mechanicals is strictly prohibited under Board Regulations. 5. Delivered complimentary mint. Where's this mint? I want it. Okay, we can search the outside in a sec. Let's go inside here. Oh, it's like a store thing, isn't it? What's that? Tossport champion stick. We got one of them. We don't need another. What's that? 
Silver tongue. Uh, I'm not really fussed about that. I want some it for lock picking. Augmented rainfall. Okay, another thing which. See, so lock picking seventy five. I can always update that. Um, we just go. We got that, which is five, and anything with lock picking or stealth skills. Stealth skills. There we go. Damn, got some nimble fingers, Captain. And we got improved tech kit that might help us. Uh, it's stealth in it. We need stealth. Some of with really good stealth. That is where we need to go. But I'm not going there yet. What the heck? I'm putting our things back on. Oh no, where is it? That's mine. What was that then? Oh, it's the lighting. Uh, a pet's only as what good as the heck? Dog. They're the ones who ought to be in. It. Oh, my God, he's been killing them all. Oh. No, that ain't worth it. I'll get about that. Most dangerous game. What's that? Lung gun. Uh, I need to come back here as well. My lock picking. You know, stealing from these assholes is its own reward. So I can come back here whenever I want now. I don't know what's worse here. The leashes or the folks holding them. Never cared much for hors d'oeuvres. The word is just grotesque. All those superfluous letters ruin my appetite. Hmm. So this. I found dead canids in the service tunnels. You know anything about that? Dead canids in the service tunnels? Domesticated canids? Why, that's utterly revolting. I'm pretty sure they were domesticated. Frankly, it doesn't matter to me if they were domesticated or feral. Feral canids are like the unemployed. Their existence implies the need for a loving master. Every canid, regardless of their physical attributes, is a companion to their master. To kill a companion is a profound and unforgivable breach of trust. I'm glad I chose not to participate in this loathsome canid review. I will, however, take their trophy. Today's your lucky day, Clarence. I've got your trophy. My trophy? Look at this thing. 
Have you ever seen a more garish monument to the boredom of the elite? If only Grandfather Mostly were alive today, I would have loved to wave this trophy right in front of his cataracts. <laughs> I hope you won't take it personally when I say I had my doubts about you. Nothing ever gets done in Byzantium, you see. Competent work is, well, a statistical anomaly. I kept my end of the bargain. I expect you to keep yours. Lifting the emergency lockdown requires overrides from the Chem Lab and Human Inquiry. Access to those facilities requires authorizations from two senior level researchers. Marion Blakesley, Jasper Lowe. They went into hiding after the project collapsed, but I've managed to calculate their last known whereabouts within a reasonable margin of error. You use statistical analysis to figure out their location. Show me your math. I see you're familiar with my technique. I'd love to show you my numbers, but there aren't nearly enough napkins in this room. After the project shut down, I had to keep my mind occupied. I worked on my actuarial tables, calculated the average lifespan of a spacer's choice worker, that sort of thing. I realized some of the researchers had to be alive. I ran some numbers, did a little research, and concluded that the two most likely survivors are Marion Blakesley and Jasper Lowe. You haven't been able to let go of Project Gorgon either. Nonsense. I just needed a good old-fashioned statistical problem to busy my mind. Keeps the faculties lubricated. Ah, okay. Alright, I've got some questions about these researchers. I'll tell you what I can. Tell me about Jasper Lowe. Dr. Lowe described himself as a dazzling genius in his review. I disagreed. Of the 19 criteria that constitute the rubric of genius, Dr. Lowe only met 15. After the project shut down, corporate traded him off to anti-Clio in exchange for five lab coats. He's been transferred to an orbital lab around Olympus. Mm. Wow, must have been some fancy lab coats. No, Captain. Lab coats, as in scientists. Is your captain always this dense? <laughs> How are you all still alive? I live for risk. Let's get back on topic. You'll find Dr. Lowe in an orbital lab around Olympus. I swear I want to do a dumb play through. Alright, talk to me about Marion Blakesley. Dr. Marion Blakesley supervised the human inquiry and auditing facility. Live subjects, measuring tape and syringes, that sort of thing. Someone sabotaged the facility. Blakesley tended her resignation and vanished. I'm reasonably certain she's hiding in a maintenance bay on Groundbreaker. What about this Jasper Lowe guy? Dr. Lowe described himself as a dazzling genius in his review. I disagreed. Of the 19 criteria that constitute the rubric of genius, Dr. Lowe only met 15. I thought he was going to say something different. After the project shut down, corporate tri- You don't think much of this Jasper Lowe guy. Our office gave Dr. Lowe and his team every opportunity to develop a drug under perfectly reasonable guidelines and generous deadlines. Dr. Lowe failed to meet our requests and largely succeeded in using our supply of drugs to get himself higher than the mortality rate of a line worker at a Saltuna cannery. Before I go, there was one other thing. Certainly. What's on your mind? 
I had some questions about Blakesley and Lowe. I'll tell you what I can. Got to finish hers. What do I need to know about Marion Blakesley? Dr. Marion Blakesley supervised the human inquiry and auditing facility. Live subjects, measuring tape and syringes, that sort of thing. Someone sabotaged the facility. Blakesley tendered her resignation and vanished. I'm reasonably certain she's hiding in a maintenance bay on Groundbreaker. You're asking me to trust your hunch. I'm asking you to trust in the predictive power of data. Dr. Blakesley may have disappeared after that sabotage incident, but the trajectory of her life was implied in her permanent record. Are you sure it was sabotage? Well, with Spacer's choice equipment, who even knows? Dr. Blakesley tendered her resignation lawfully, but under suspicious circumstances. If you want to know more, you'd best ask her yourself. Oh, I will. That's all I need to know. Clarence. To exercise caution. It's good for your lifespan. Ah, oh, Clarence, are you looking out for me? You did fetch a trophy for my little applause. Technically, that makes you my canid servant. And by the transitive property of employment, my responsibility. Wow. No need to sound so astonished. Now, was there anything else? What well, can you tell me about Project Gorgon? Let's try to keep it down, shall we? At least pretend we're being discreet? There's not a lot about Project Gorgon I can tell you. I know that's not what you wanted to hear, but I closed that chapter in my life. I've moved on. I promise I'm not looking for any trouble. I just want information. Look, don't tell anyone I said this. But if there's anything I've learned by living in Byzantium, it's this. If you go looking for the truth, you are looking for trouble. <sighs> All right. Ask your questions. And then if you don't mind, don't mention Project Gorgon anywhere near me again. Why did Project Gorgon need an actuary? Project Gorgon was designed to change the life of every worker on Halcyon. We weren't just building a product, we were trying to build a society. How many workers call Halcyon their home? What do they eat and when? How long do they sleep? How hard do they work? What are their most productive years? When do their organs begin to fail? That's the nature of my work. I study human life in order to determine its value. Jewelers appraise diamonds, and I appraise people. Hmm. What exactly went wrong? <laughs> Everything. Every project has a margin of failure. We expect setbacks, complications, delays. Project Gorgon experienced a cascade failure. One mistake precipitated another, and another, and another. The labs failed to develop a safe drug. Human inquiry failed to perform their tests responsibly. An unsafe drug tested on unhealthy subjects by irresponsible supervisors. That's Project Gorgon. The staff are all dead or missing. You're the only one wearing a tracker. No one appreciates the value of good data. The holistic surveillance device I wear is an invaluable tool, gathering data on all my day-to-day -day activities. My former colleagues can go into hiding and live in ignorance for all I care. I prefer the self-examined life. So the project fell apart, and you test subjects became marauders. Anarchy is not a crime. It is a symptom. The undisciplined workplace secretes anarchy the way our glands secrete enzymes. It's a principle of science. Sabotage came first. The chem lab, human inquiry, even my own office. 
sabotage broke the discipline of our workplace, leading to confusion, leading to escaped subjects, leading to anarchy. Your hands aren't clean, Clarence. You were part of Project Gorgon. I know. Project Gorgon was a failure of leadership. Leadership to which I belonged. Damn straight, Clarence. I should have pushed for stricter supervision. We gave the other departments too much freedom and not enough oversight. Spare the rod, spoil the servant. No more questions. Thanks for your time. What's on your mind? Damn, I missed my chance to ask about Mini, but it's not too bad. Got what we needed, let's level up again. I'm going for lock picking. Got ya. Right. Can we talk to her about the deaths? I saw these idiots as well. I've got a lot on my mind right now. Our trophy's gone missing, but I can't file an investigation because what we're doing here is technically illegal. I found dead canids down in the tunnels. Explain. Oh, don't look so cross. Those canids were put down mercifully. Not every canid is suited to the intense competition of our review. Some few canids display flaws that cannot be redeemed. A limp. Wall eye. Poor coloration. Lo, I hate absolutely everything about this city. Are you getting emotional over some canids? You know we have a bartender just downstairs. Help yourself. Anyway, listen. Nature is red in tooth and claw, and so are we. Competition is practically a law of the universe. I shouldn't have to explain this to you. Oh, these people are horrible. Could you give me a minute? I've got the strongest urge to load my gun. Go and attend to your business then. Arguing with you is a waste of time. I really want to shoot them all. Horrible people. I'll be sure to raise a glass of Rizzo's Spectrum Violet to your timely assistance. Okay, so she didn't say anything. Well, let's go to the next one. Right, um, journal. So we've got the mine hi high orbit, or oh, we got that. Travel to the auxiliary mines since by and Grand Breaker, or land on the Olympus Orbital Pharmaceutical Station. We're going to go to the Grand Breaker first. We still got to do them. We've got two left, and we can't go to them yet because I think these are the two pl places we need. These two people we need to talk to are going to give us access to those locations. Thank you for participating in our confidentiality agreement. What can I do for you? Alright, go back to the ship. Restricted area, I don't care. Where are the ladders? Here they are. take with me. I'm gonna take Bavati because obviously no girlfriends on there. Um let's take Max or Sam. Max we'll take Max of us he hasn't been many places are they? Actually I don't think I've taken him yet have I? Mm. 
the map. We'll take Max and Pavati. You two have already been here. Felix has been places. So. Back to the ground, break off. I'm glad we get to go back there as well. 